What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Stat Shark Sports Show. I'm your host, Sport Report MD. Welcome. We've made it to week one of the NFL season. Before we get into this week's props, I just want to give you a little rundown of Stat Shark and what we have to offer. You can obviously find the video here on YouTube um, each and every week. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of that content. You can find us on other social media platforms as well, including our brand new Discord. You're going to want to follow that. Um, we do have a premium subscription option available for $8.49 a month. With that subscription, you have access to all 32 teams and our props and picks for that. We have the analytics for daily fantasy sports as well. What other subscription can you get for that price that's going to allow you to make even more money? So you're going to want to look into that, and we can't wait to have you join us. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on in there this season, so be sure to look into it and join us in the Discord. Now, without further ado, let's get into this week's player props. This week's props, we're going to look at five different running backs. The first running back we're going to look at this week is Aaron Jones. The line for him is set at 42 yards. It'll be interesting to see what the Packers exactly do with this new Jordan Love era. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers would check out of the run game a lot. I feel like we may see a little more running from them this year, and Aaron Jones has been the main back in their two-back system with A.J. Dillon. Aaron Jones averages 61.4 yards per game for his career and has cleared 42 yards in 51 of his 86 career games. Now against the Bears, he has only cleared that line 5 of 11 games against them, but usually the first time he plays them in a season is his better game, so you can take that for what it's worth. Um, the Bears, their defense is decent, but usually, especially the first time you see a team in the year, you're not going to be as prepared for them. So we'll see what Aaron Jones can do, but 42 yards is where the line is for that one. The second running back we're going to look at this week is Nick Chubb. The line for him is 86 yards. Now Nick Chubb is one of the few bright spots for a frequently dim Cleveland team. Team doesn't have a lot going on, and I feel like he's often underappreciated and not quite talked about enough for how good of a running back he actually is. Um, he's arguably one of the top three running backs in the league. Derrick Henry obviously gets a lot. Um, Josh Jacobs is a guy who's up there. We'll get to him later. But Nick Chubb is very quietly in Cleveland one of the best backs he averages 84.5 yards per game for his career, so he's actually right around the line that he's got. Um, but his low rookie year numbers factor into that a little bit. He's averaged 89 or more yards the last four seasons after his rookie year. Um, he's cleared 86 yards in 38 of his 75 games, but he did do it 11 of 17 games last year. They're also playing their division rivals in the Bengals. The Bengals' defense can be hit or miss. They do have some decent linebacker and lineman who can get stops. Um, but for Nick Chubb, he has cleared that line five of his nine games against the Bengals. The next running back we're going to look at is Saquon Barkley. The line for him is set at 60 yards. And Barkley's such a tough read, um, especially at that 60-yard mark. That kind of is a hit or miss area for him. When healthy, obviously, 60 seems like a really low number. He was healthy last year, um, proved that he's still that running back that he was the first two years of his career. Um, he does average 80 yards plus per game when he is healthy. Um, in eight career games against the Cowboys, who he will be playing this week, he's only cleared 60 yards on three occasions, and that Cowboys defense is arguably one of the better defenses in the NFL right now. So they're going to be keying on Saquon. Um, you want Daniel Jones to beat you by throwing the ball. So 60 yards could be tough, but it is Saquon Barkley. And if healthy, he is also very talented. So 60 yards is the line for him in that game. The next running back we're going to look at is Travis Etienne. The line for him has been set at 58 yards. We don't have a lot of data to work with on ETN for his career. Um, he only has one season under his belt. Um, he's cleared 58 yards in eight of those 17 games. It's kind of a 
It's a unique number there. It seems not very high, but he also did not start the first five games last year. The last 12 games where he was the starter, he cleared 58 yards, seven of those 12 games. The Colts' defense definitely is lackluster to say the least. Um, however, you also have to take into account that the Jaguars are probably going to be a pass-first offense this year. Um, and Etienne is also a threat out of the backfield, so he may not get a lot of the carries that a standard RB1 would get. So that is kind of where you're at looking at that 58-yard prop. And our last running back we're going to look at this week is Josh Jacobs. The number for him is set at 86. Josh Jacobs is coming off of a season where he actually led the NFL in rushing yards. He averaged 97.2 yards per game, which is astounding. Um, he's only cleared 86 yards in 23 of his 60 career games. Despite the great season last year, he actually only got over 86 yards 8 of the 17 games. So it's kind of interesting, but he did have a few, he had one 200 plus yard game and a lot of big 130, 140 yard games. So it's going to be tough to kind of tell where he's at, especially with the contract thing, a new quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. It'll be interesting to see where he falls with that 86 yard line. And that will do it for this week's show. Thank you all so much for tuning in to week one. Can't wait to bring you more content throughout the rest of the season. Be sure to like and subscribe and share so that you and your friends do not miss out on each episode. Um, if you're looking for more props, um, more picks, and daily fantasy sports analytics to really help you get to the next level in terms of your props, your bets, and everything, you're going to want to look into our Discord. Remember, $8.49 a month for the subscription gets you access to all 32 NFL teams and our picks, props, and analytics for them. You're going to want to look into it. Again, that subscription is going to help you win money throughout the year, and that's what we're here to do is help you become a better better. You get what I mean. And remember, with StatShark, you can bet with more bite. I'm your host, Sport Report MD. Until next week, have a good one.